so uh, I'm going to cover um, sort of a bit of a CVE workflow overview. This is not horribly detailed as the workflow itself, I don't think is, is horribly detailed. Um, this is not going to get into what you know, a particular CNA does as part of their entire you know, change management, vulnerability management, security patch release process. Um, but this is the bits you're going to need for sort of your CVE management and your user management in the new in the new services. Um, following this, I'm going to get into demoing uh, three clients. So those of you who had sort of had quiet client questions and detailed questions throughout the first part of this event, um, showing the clients might might help with some of that. So um, implicitly, you need to be a CNA. Only CNAs gets accounts. You need to have you know. Make a make a uh, a wise CNA decision to have something worth a CVE, and you need this OA organizational administrator account. If you already have these things, no no changes here. So those things you have to do separately. Uh, you need to talk to your root or the uh, or the top level root in order to get that stuff worked out. Um, what we're going to go through in the client reviews is how to manage users. So that OA uh, a, a, a an account with organizational administrator admin privs can manage other users within that organization. We're going to reserve IDs and show what the ID lists look like. Um, we're not gonna get into a lot of depth on creating the content. I have some, some minimal examples that I use for the demos. Um, as we discussed a bit earlier, uh, the CVE JSON 5 format, and particularly Volnagram from Chandan, uh, supports a lot of uh, content that is not part of the minimal record. So it's not going to be an in-depth content creation exercise. Simply, we'll have some ready nearby content, some light edits, and we'll publish those and update them. So publish, update, and reject. Uh, and those are the things that you have to sort of go through um, when you're managing your managing your IDs. Uh, I was going to draw like a flow chart or something complicated. I, I don't think it's terribly complicated, right? There's a loop of, you know, publish, you might update zero or more times. You may have to reject. Uh, I believe you're allowed to unreject something, although I don't have a demo uh, a demo of that. Um, and I, so yeah, so the clients, um, I have found four. The first three of these we've talked about today and, and the, the program has paid some attention to. And in fact, uh, Volnagram, CVE client and CVE lib are all authored by uh, organizations and individuals who are part of the program. Uh, I also came across uh, CVE.js, which I did not review, but that's out there and probably works. So you have some choices here. Um, Volnagram and C CVE client have web UIs. So uh, if you're doing a few CVEs here and there, um, these might be easier if you want to do some point and click sorts of bits of things. Uh, CVE lib is in Python and has a nice uh, command line utility. We're going to demo that. If you are uh, a little closer to automating something and have some command line stuff, uh, or already have a Python infrastructure, CVE libs is one way to go. Um, so we're going to talk about the first three of these. These are all uh, they are all freely available. They all have pretty uh, pretty open licenses. Um, a quick summary here. I start moving on my screen here. A quick summary. They all do all the things. They all do user management. They all do reservation. Uh, the CVE lib and the CVE JS sort of libraries don't give you an editing interface. So you have to do your, your editing or your creation of your JSON elsewhere uh, and then bring that to submit via those utilities. Uh, but the two web uh, oriented clients do have uh, graphical uh, content creation options. Um, a couple of other bits. Uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, but um, these all of the all of the clients involve storing a secret API key somewhere. So there's nothing sort of surprising or new here, but just the warning is that, uh, especially if you're going to automate, you are stashing your API key somewhere. Um, that's a secret. So you know, exercise due care and diligence. Um, these clients have dependencies. <laughs> so all of the due diligence of having out of date dependencies that are accumulating security debt and vulnerabilities, right? Watch your dependency uh, uh, tracking and, and fix things, update them as needed. Um, 
my review did not, I did not go through every single uh, endpoint and option and verb in the API. Um, if you want to go through that, there are a couple of uh, the very nice API docs that every time I've run into a problem, it's usually because I hadn't read the API doc carefully enough, um, or I was trying to do something in a shell that quoting was a problem. So um, I did not, you know, I did not check that every client supports every single possible bit of the API, um, but they do all support the things I tested, user management, reserving, uh, creating, and updating. Uh, and I've got a very small bit of stuff on GitHub. Um, oh, well, there's a demonstration demonstration script for CVE lib, which I'll be running today. Um, the script itself isn't, any, isn't a necessary addition at all to CVE lib. It simply runs a bunch of the commands in order uh, so I can run through the demo here. But there's a bit of client information on that on that GitHub repo as well. OK, so I'm going to switch over to uh, uh, a different screen share. Give me one moment to click the buttons. You're going to start uh, graphical clients.